from ice in yards all around the Houston area to icicles hanging from homes and buildings, and there were even some hanging in the trees. Check out this picture that was sent in by a local two viewer. All of it melting now, but for a lot of people, the problems are far from over. Local two's Amanda Perez joins us live in Katy tonight with some of the issues that homeowners are experiencing and may still experience in the days ahead. Amanda? Well, Dominique, this sprinkler system here was just repaired this afternoon after water started spewing from a broken cap this morning. Now, for two days now, Houstonians have been trying to deal with these freezing temperatures. And when it comes to these irrigation systems, well, the trouble may not be over just yet. When Mike Harkoff returned home from running an errand this morning, he saw water, lots of it, spewing from his irrigation system and into the road. He left frigid temperatures in Wisconsin yesterday and said there was little time to prepare for Houston's freeze. I lived there for most of my life and never had pipes freeze or anything like that. So come here and it gets to 20 one night and sprinkler system freezes. The January freeze caused ice to form on some of Houston's roads, leading to several accidents, including one that involved four vehicles on 290 and North Gessner. Five of HISD's campuses experienced heating issues today, including Woodson Leadership Academy. But I had to zip my jacket all the way up and everything, like this, and I did like that. And sometimes when I wasn't writing, I just did like this. Meanwhile, other students at Clear Creek ISD's Go Forth Elementary had their classes canceled because of a heater failure, but were told it's since been fixed and students will return Wednesday. In Mission Bend, it was Centerpoint Energy crews braving the cold, restoring electricity to more than 4,000 customers who lost power due to a weather-related outage. It's really cold, and they have no power, and so the refrigerator is off. While the freeze is over, for now, Chuck Massey with Big Chuck's lawn sprinkler systems expects to be busy for a while. Because we're in Katy, but you know, which is cold, but you know, Woodlands and Conroe, it's three, three degrees colder. They're going to have a lot of problems up there. And Massey says he expects even more problems, more phone calls tomorrow. That's because many residents won't even realize there's an issue until their timers go off and water starts spewing from those caps. That's why it may be a good idea just to run a test on your timer to make sure you're in the clear. Reporting live in Katy, I'm Amanda Perez, KPRC Local 2.